Put this SPI driver away. From the Adafruit Vault. Uh, we have two things. Uh, I'll show the first one. Yeah. Oh, no, we have three things, sorry. Uh, so this is just another update on our Adafruit AR app. Trevor's yeah. been working on this. Colin's helping out. And when you show Circuit Playground Express or many other boards, this recognizes the board live. Yeah, like it actually sees it yeah. and knows what you're holding up, and which then, is so cool. Yeah, it does really good recognition. And then you'll be able to see these overlays and learn about what the Circuit Playground Express can do. And then here you go. It's like, hey, look, that's Adafruit's pipe. And board. look at how impressive it is because there's circuitry in the background. Yeah. It's confused, being held up. There's a lot of stuff going on, but it recognizes the device. It does a very good job. So check out our apps on iTunes. And this is uh, one of the many things that we're adding. You can also scan in QR codes and assembly. You also get Adabot to hang out with you. We have a lot of cool things going on with apps. Neat stuff. We posted this up on Discord. What is it? I don't know. What is this, Lady Ada? What is it? I don't know. I don't, I don't tell people. I want people to guess. What do you think this is? This is some good guesses. Somebody thought it was a Stargate. Good guess. Circuit gate. Circuit, Circuit gate. Stargate. Circuit Stargate. Circuit Starground. All right. Well, post up your, your thoughts and, okay. and ideas. I actually kind of like to see what people think it is, too. You had a physical. It's not out yet. Yeah. So, well, what first off, I want to show off. This is the... Um, the sand demo with very, uh, you know, the video that we had had uh, very chunky pixels, but we also have a demo with like these fine pixels. Nice. And it's just kind of fascinating. It's, this is tough. This is 4,000 uh, pixels, and so all doing the collision detecting. But uh, very beautiful and colorful. So thanks to Phil B for the pixel dust code. It was really easy to port. And then I thought, you know, Pi Gamer, like, you know, once you have, once you get into the console wars, you gotta up your game. So um, after the Pi Gamer, I thought, well, let's do the Pi Gamer Advance. So the Pi Gamer Advance is the, uh, it's actually almost the same, which is funny. I found this two inch screen that's 320 by 240, um, but it's not that much larger, it's only two inches. Um, so it's only, it, it's even, it's a little bit longer because of the, the um, ratio, um, but the hardware is pretty much identical. Uh, it has a J20 instead of a J19, so it's a megabyte of flash and 256K of RAM, so it's a little bit bigger. And what's cool is um, the screen looks really good, and you can play um, you know, the NES emulator can run pixel perfect because it actually has uh, 320 by 240, and uh, NES was uh, 240 by um, three, uh, 256. So you can actually um, have pixel perfect games running. Let's see, I can see if I can. Super Mario Brothers 3 doesn't load, but you can see the intro screen. So I thought it was kind of fun to try upgrading the hardware. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Looking good. Back in the vault. All right, back in the vault with you. Okay.